Sometimes it may seem like I'm talking in circles, but the reason for that is because I don't think in a linear fashion, like this came after this and this comes after this. I do understand in the physical world that things happen that way. Like I understand cause and effect to the point where the cause is the thought. The effect can be the action you did. The next effect from that cause was the action you did. Then the next effect would be uh, the building you built or the idea you had that you wanted to take this thing and make it into something. The first idea was the thought to do it. The second cause or the first cause was the thought. The effect was the action. The second cause was the action creating the product, you know. So, but also with cause and effect, the cause could be a thought. The effect could be a contrasting thought being like, I don't know about that. I don't want to do that. And then the, the, the effect would relate to another cause, which would be a, a refined thought. And then the effect would be another thought that analyzes that refined thought and refines it even more. And then the last one would be like the most refined thought. And then, then the effect would be the action you take. And then that's another cause. And then more effects. And they just pile on and pile on and pile on. That's how it works. Every effect, every cause doesn't have to be major, but every thought is a cause, whether it's reanalyzed or not. Every individual thought is a cause. So when people say that you talk in circles, it's only because I have to come back to explain it again. Because if I could just keep going, I wouldn't have to come back in circles. But that's what we do. We keep coming back in circles and everything is circular so that we can keep going around and looking at it. And, oh, yeah, that's what it was. Remember, that's what we made. Oh, yeah, that's what you did. Oh, that's what it is. Oh, okay, that's what we, uh, yeah, that's it. Oh, okay, yeah. Because if we had to remember every day that that's a rock and that's dirt and that's snow and that's a line on the road, it would be too much. So that stores in our mind and becomes physical reality. But when you have to come back and tell somebody about it, you're going around in circles. So therefore, the world is round. Everything goes in a cycle. There's a year, a week, a month, big cycles, little cycles, cellular cycles that die in hours, some of them die in weeks, some of them die in days. Everything's a circular cycle. But if we didn't do that, who knows what we would be capable of? I mean, I know how much we could be capable of, but physically, in a physical reality, I haven't seen it in this reality. So in order to see it really happening in my current now as Dan Alexander, I would like to help people understand what's going on. They have to really, truly, truly open their mind and let go of everything they ever thought they were, everything they ever thought it was, that life in general, that they as a person were. And I know that's super hard, and that's why it's almost impossible to really enlighten people unless you just have them follow your teachings and your background or your heritage, because that's all most people do. A guru is just teaching you like the way of a guru that they learned it from, a monk which is a teaching of some sort, whether it's a Buddhist monk or whatever monk, there's a following that they're still going with, words. And those words, once you get there, you don't need those because those aren't the be-all, end-all way. The Tao, the Tao or the Tao, all those things, those are great, but those aren't the final exact way. There's more to it because those are also people relating the message. And here's me, a person, trying to relate the message, but deeper because it does go deeper than any of those practices and those spiritual teachings that there have been. Nothing wrong with any of them. I'm not saying I'm better than any of them, because I'm not. I'm just another one of the one trying to relate it, just like the people that did it then were trying to relate it from their background and their heritage. Well, I don't grasp onto any of my heritage. And I don't have to say, in America, we do it like this. In the earth, we do it like this. Here, in this universe, we do it like this. I don't have any of those as a thing to hold on to because I realize that I'm all of those wrapped up in one human package, just like every other human or every other animal or every other creature is. I understand that. And people can say, oh, I, got, I conceptually get that. But they, they don't because their subconscious mind is creating them. And they're in my subconscious mind. I have people who don't believe me. So therefore, they present themselves. And the more in my subconscious mind, I believe that everyone believes me the more they present themselves. And the more I believe in myself, the more I believe people believe me, and it's happening. So there's that linear fashion of going around in circles, you know, because linear means straight, but we always go around in circles in order to tell the story over and over again so we can keep seemingly going straight, which is funny. It's like the misdirection of our direction. <laughs>